also it's voiceover time, which means I get to sit here in my sweaty gym clothes, my hair scraped back, which is all great. But today I thought I would share with you my current beauty collection. And I'm gonna show you kind of absolutely everything here. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that is out on my everyday vanity table. This is from Oliver Bonus, this like little blue clear acrylic case. I'm gonna show you everything that's inside that. And then also everything that is inside the huge chest of drawers in my office. These are from Vincent and Barn. Absolutely love them, but that houses hair care, body care, skin care, and all the rest of my makeup in. So I'm gonna take you through a little tour of the drawers. So this drawer is on my vanity in my bedroom, and it's just basically the stuff I use every day. I try to like mix it up, but there's a lot of old favorites here, like the It Cosmetics, your Skin But Better CC Cream. I keep it in light and fair in there. I'm also using this MAC Next to Nothing. That's awesome. The L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion Foundation. I think this is fabulous. This is what I use kind of every day and also the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I use this in the shade light. Absolutely love that thing. I've got an Estee Lauder one in there for more like full coverage days. The Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer Love. Look at that Becca highlighter. I've reached pan. Very proud about that. And I've just got some hourglass like a powder and a primer in there and that's basically everything for base. Then on top I've got a perfume, I've got eye bits, I've got lip bits, and in the eye drawer I've got the NARS eyeshadow primer, and then I've got my MAC Geo here, a Sober and Sable, love Sober. Then I've got the Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara, using that a lot recently, and an H&M eyeliner. And then this mascara is awesome, I will link it down below for you, it's from Hair and Make, got it off Amazon. Then there's a YSL brow marker that I've been using recently, really enjoying that, and also a brow mascara because my Glossier Boy brow is like all used up. I've got Max Groundwork Paint Pot, that's like my lazy eye kind of combination. Then there's the Hourglass Lip Stilo in Futurist, I think this is, and also the Charlotte Tilbury one, I think this is in Super Cindy, love that colour. And I've got a YSL one that I've been using recently, this is very like glossy and pink compared to everything that I've got. Chanel Adrienne, of course, and then also the Clarins lip gloss is in there. This is the Kiehl's um, Fig Leaf and Sage fragrance that I'm using and by Terry Bondrose. Look at that, it's so used up. But that's everything I'm currently using every day. Now onto the big drawers. And so these drawers hold everything else. The top four drawers are makeup and then underneath it's all my other beauty bits. And the first makeup drawer are like primers and foundations. And primer wise, I'm loving the Becca First like priming feel. So this was in my current everyday kind of rotation until very very recently, I'm just giving it a break. And also the backlight priming filter I like, it's a little bit more glowy. The Too Faced Hangover RX primer is really good because it's very hydrating. And I also love the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray, and this is a new one, the Quick Fix Setting Spray. I don't keep those in my everyday makeup because they're too kind of big for the drawers, but if I do need to use them, I just quickly run into the other room and use them before I do the rest of my makeup. Then for foundations, I've got my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. This is just a great everyday foundation that neither matte nor super dewy, neither really high coverage or low coverage, kind of somewhere in the middle. Quite like the Bourjois Healthy Mix, I like this one, it makes my skin very glowy. Then I've got my It Cosmetics Your Skin Better CC Cream, I've got backups here, I've got different colours, I've got a miniature travel size, can you tell I like it? And the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, I use this in the oil free version. And I just love how like fresh that looks on the skin. If I want something a little bit more full coverage, I'll go for something like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation or the Power Fabric, which is kind of similar but a little bit more satiny on the skin. And then powder wise, I've only got one and it's my favorite, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. I've got it in the shade Light Plus and also Medium. The next draw features everything else to do with face, so sort of bronzers and contours, highlights, blushes. And I've got the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in there. I really like that one, that's more of my summer color and then contour wise I've got the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder that's what it's called in the medium and the light and then also a really good one is the cover FX custom enhancer drops in the shade sunkiss I think that one is I wore that for like the whole of last summer and I've got the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow as well I spent a fortune on this so I'm like I'm always gonna have this in my collection then I've got some hourglass palettes I've got the ambient lighting kind of powder one and then I've got the one that's got a blush a bronzer and another blush in just very versatile the Too Faced Love Flush. I think this is in the shade I Will Always Love You. It's very peachy and beautiful, just like the Clinique Melon Pop one. And also I've got the Tarte Amazonian Clay one in Exposed, just to add a little bit more of a dusky pink into my collection. The third makeup drawer is everything to do with eyes. And so the first thing are eyeshadow palettes. And I've actually only got like four big ones these days. So first one is the Zareva Nude Spectrum one. This is great because it just houses every single neutral kind of shimmery colour you could ever want. I've also got the Vizia 
about, um, I can't remember what this is called, the neutral matte eyeshadow palette I think it's called. Very versatile, I don't use it as much as I should but the pigment is beautiful in it. Also the Zoeva Cocoa Blend one, this is my favourite one that they've ever come out with. I love it, it's got some mattes in, also just very gorgeous colours. And then the Zoeva, is it the Matte Revolution one or just matte? I think it's called really beautiful, amazing pigmented buttery shades in there. Then I've also got smaller quads and individuals like the MAC Sober Eyeshadow. This is just a backup because I've reached pan in my other one. And then this is from Chanel and this is a limited edition quad that they came out with. I think last Christmas, this Christmas, last Christmas, beautiful colours in there. The Charlotte Tilbury um, Eyes to Mesmerise in the shade Betty. Also the Chanel Illusion d'Om in Mirage, I think that one's called. I've got Burberry's Pale Barley Eyeshadow, that one is just a classic. And then I've just got some kind of random bits like the Duo Eyelash Adhesive and also the Charlotte Tilbury Pencil Sharpener. This is really good for the NARS um, pencils, actually works really well on that. And I've got a Marc Jacobs, these are amazing actually. This is a black eyeliner, kind of random but I don't have another black eyeliner, it's more for if I do makeup on other people. Then a MAC Nude eyeliner, I've had this one for absolutely years. The H&M eyeliners are great, they're such good value, they feel like a couple of quid and they last so long. There's also a MAC one in the shade Groundwork and then two Charlotte Tilbury ones. I've got like the navy blue one, Marlene and Midnight I think that was called and then also the brownie one. The Tom Ford eye defining pen is amazing if you're really rubbish at doing your eyeliner like me and I've only got one stick cream eyeshadow these days. It's the By Terry one in Brown Perfection and then I've got two mascaras. One is from Max Factor, the other one is from L'Oreal. There you go, I'm just adjusting it. That looks pretty good like a flat lay to me. Then finally makeup wise from the drawer we have lip products. Now this has definitely taken a lot of streamlining recently. First one is there is a Charlotte Tilbury one called Very Victoria. It's just a great classic kind of brownie nude. I've still kept MAC lipstick in patisserie. It's my favourite one from MAC. Although I do like this one as well. I think this one is called Doe from their new Lip Tensity collection. I love how that feels on the lips. This is one of the hourglass ones in more of a peachier shade. This Glossier Balm in Cake. I love just because of the name. And then of course I have to have a backup of the Clarins. This is in a different shade. And also the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I kind of realised I just don't like liquid lipsticks these days, but the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams are beautiful. This is in the shade Stockholm. And then everything else is super streamlined, but I can't seem to get my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil collection down. I just can't. I mean, look at that. I've got nudes, I've got purples, I've got reds, I've got everything in there. But I just, I can't help myself. I love, love, love the formula. So when it comes to what's in my other drawers, I thought I would show you and give you a little sneak peek around those. So the first one are nail bits and this just has everything in from like my gel manicure at home set and then all of these Smith & Colt nail polishes. I absolutely love Bitter Buddhist, that's my favourite. The Soap & Glory Heal Genius is amazing. Don't My Dear is just one of my favourite shades ever. It's actually what I've got in my nails in this video. The next draw along is everything to do with fragrance. So this has perfumes and candles in. So I've got some of my favourite candles in here, like the Diptyque one, also the Jo Malone Lavender and Lovage. I love that one. And then three perfumes. I've got the Stella McCartney one, a larger version of the Kiehl's one that I'm currently using, and then also Eccentric Molecule, Molecule 01 in a really big one. Next to that drawer, I've got a drawer full of collectible things that are just very sentimental to me, or they're super limited edition, and I just don't want to get rid of them or there's a very good story behind them and I actually did a video all about everything that's in here about a year and a half ago so I'll make sure that is linked somewhere for you. And then the final draw on that row are like photo props so they're things that I use in Instagram pictures or just pictures on my blog to kind of beef them out a bit. So there's sort of coasters in there, pencils, notepads, all sorts of bits and bobs. The first drawer on the third row houses skincare and a lot of my skincare is in here at the moment because I've really slimmed down my routine massively but there was things I just didn't want to get rid of and things I really love like the Oskia travel size is amazing, the Kills SPF I love, Caroline's double cleanser, just things that I feel like I will definitely use again soon at some point. Next to that I have body bits and because our bathroom really isn't that fab and we're hopefully going to get around to redoing it at some point, I've got so many things in here because I'm just so excited to like have a proper bath and have a proper bathroom. There's a lot of tanning things, a lot of moisturisers and just kind of fancy shower gels that I don't feel like our bathroom is fancy enough to use in right now. <laughs> My hair care drawer is probably very disappointing. Hair care just isn't like a genre of beauty that I particularly get excited about but I've got 
obviously a backup of the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo in here. There's some conditioners that I really like, a couple of styling things, and I really want to get around to using this way clean clarifying shampoo because Lily has told me that it's incredible. And then the final drawer of beauty related things is basically just cotton wool. I've also got some wipes in there which just come in really handy when I need to like wipe away swatches. I've got this at home like laser hair removal thing which I'm trying to get back into because it actually did work really well. Cotton buds, just boring little bits like that. Now when I first got these drawers, every single one of them was full of beauty stuff, but over the years, as I've managed to condense it all down, I now keep all my camera bits in the bottom drawers, also just stationary, and then I even have a spare one at the end, so I did on a postcard for that drawer. <laughs> but that is pretty much everything, aside from a couple of random bits in my handbag and things that are in my bathroom, that is everything that I own beauty-wise, and I'm very happy that I've managed to get it down to this, and I really only own stuff that I use, I love, or I'm going to use up at some point, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. I have done a blog post to go with this video, I'll make sure it's linked down in the description box below for you, but just about my current beauty mindset, kind of where I'm at in the beauty world. Check that out, it's a bit of Sunday reading for you there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on Wednesday with a brand new video. See you then, bye!